Hello and welcome to the second video on data interpretation. In my previous video, I discussed data which was in tabular format. In this video, we'll look at the second form and which is pie charts. So let's get started. Now, first thing about pie chart is that in percentage terms would always be 100%, which is nothing but your 360 degrees is 100%. And half could be, you know, 180 degree or 50% and so on. So now let's come to our question. It says in the following pie charts, the percentage of employees of a company operating in eight different countries has been given. So there is a com company which has offices in, let's say, eight countries and the how the split of employees across those eight countries is given. What is also given is the number of male employees in that company. So let's say total employees are 86,000 and male employees total are 56,000. And the split of those 56,000 male employees across eight countries is also given. So from this data, before jumping at the question, what can we say? We can say that if I were to calculate the number of employees in each of the country, I will be able to calculate. If somebody asks me the male employees in any specific country, I'll be able to calculate. Also, if you think carefully, you can also calculate female employees. Now, total female employees is simple 86,000 as the total employees male employees 56,000 so not considering transgenders it is safe to say okay the total number of female employees would be 86,000 minus 56,000 which is 30,000 so that's something that's given but I have seen students making mistake here that when they jump to the questions they don't realize how will they calculate female employees in each of the countries so if I were to let's say say how many female employees are there in country one so people have the tendency to do 18% minus 15%, which is 3% of 30,000. These bases are different. The base here is 86,000. The base here is 56,000. So you cannot obviously do 18% of this minus 15 is not 3% because this is 18% of something else. And this is 15% of something else, which is 56,000. Anyway, so once we understand the data and which is an important step, now we move to the questions. So let's look at our first question. It says, what is the ratio between male employees working in country one and country two? Male employees, country one and country two. What is the ratio? So this is very easy. That means question is simply asking you 15% of 56,000 upon country two male employees, 10% of 56K. I mean, this I'm writing just to explain it to you, but there's nothing to be written. So that is, this is simply, this is all get cut, right? So this 15 by 10 is nothing but 3 by 2. Isn't that like a two second question? So, so easy. So all you had to do is just understand this data, read the question and just mark the answer. So this is like a two second question, right? 3 by 2. Okay, let's move to second question. Second question says, in the following pie charts, the percentage of employees of a company operating in eight different countries has been given. That same thing, two pie charts. Question is, what is the ratio between number of male employees and female employees in country 2? Male employees in country 2. So, ratio of male employees in country 2 upon, right, this is what, so this ratio equals to male employees in country 2 upon female employees in country 2. This is what we have to find out. Now, male employees in country 2, is it not easy? Male employees in country 2, 10%. 10% of any number I told you is very easy to calculate. That means you just have to move decimal this place. So this is 5600 upon female employees in country 2. Now what is the female employees in country 2 is? How will we calculate female employees in country 2? We know total male employees in total employees in country 2. We know total male employees in country 2. So that would be total employees minus male employees would be female employees, right? If you were to calculate 12% of 86,000, so what you'll do, you'll first write 10%, which is 8,600. You also know your 1% would be 860, isn't it? One more decimal place, it'll move 860. So into 2, this would be 1720. So that means this is what you've calculated. You've calculated the total number of employees in country 2. But what is the male employee? 5,600. That is how you'll get the female employees. Now, how is this? You can calculate. This is 4400 plus 320. That means 
फोर सेवन टू जीरो दिस समथिंग दैट यू शुड डू ओरली ओके नो आई कैन डायरेक्टली से दैट दिस इज अ मल्टीपल ऑफ फोर राइट सो दैट मीन्स वी कुड कट इट ओके फोर इंटू वन फोर सिक्सटीन वन फोर्टी फोर इंटू वन फोर एंड फोर अगेन वन फोर थर्टी टू फोर एट थर्टी टू राइट सो दिस अगेन यू कैन कट बाई टू सो दिस एक्चुअली मल्टीपल ऑफ एट राइट बट टू इंटू सेवेंटी टू इंटू टू इंटू फाइव टेन एंड टू नाइन एटीन सो सेवेंटी इज टू फिफ्टी नाइन दैट मीन्स यू कैन जस्ट मार्क दिस ऑप्शन सो इज इन दिस इजी so only thing that you had to figure in this question is how will you calculate females in country 2 and if you've just spent maybe 5 10 seconds taking a cursory glance through the questions before jumping to the you know at the data before jumping at the questions you could have easily figured it that females is nothing but total minus male employees in that country and that's how we got it 70 is to 59 okay let's move to the third question it says the pie chart percentage of employees okay same He is saying, what is the approximate average number of male employees in country one, two, and three? One, two, and three. What is the approximate number of male employees? So that means what male employees in country one, two, and three is what? Fifteen percent of of fifty-six thousand, right? Plus ten percent of fifty-six k, right? Plus twelve percent of 56k. This I am writing just for showing it to you. But I am saying we cannot do that in the exam. Why will we waste our time and space here? All we had to do is average of this. So this is 15. This is 10. 25 plus 12, 37. And all of this, whatever addition, this is of the same base. That means 37% of the same base by 3. That means all you could do is you can directly do 37 by 3. This is nothing but Uh, three into twelve thirty six twelve point ten twelve point three three, correct? So that means you had to calculate twelve point three three percentage of fifty six thousand. That was the ask. So either you can now do it this ten plus one plus one plus point three three, or you can say this I can write as twelve point five percent minus one point seven percent. I mean minus 0.17 percent. Sorry, right? Isn't this this? So 12. Point, if you minus 0.2, if you reduce, there will be 12.3. So this is what is the ask. 12.5 percent. If you remember from our percentages chapter, 12.5 is 25 and half of 25. That means half of 1 by 4. That means this is 1/8 of 56,000. Now 1/8 of 56,000. Right? 8 into Seven. That means this is seven thousand. So all you have to do is seven thousand minus point one. So if this is the number fifty six thousand, point one would be how much? One would be one would be five sixty. Ten percent is fifty six hundred. One percent would be five six sixty. So half of that would be minus fifty six. This is point one. Point one of fifty six thousand would be fifty six, and then minus. So seven thousand minus fifty six, how much is that? Seven thousand minus hundred, but little more than that. So seven thousand minus hundred is how much? Seven thousand. So this option is out, right? This option is obviously out, right? This option is also out. The only option left is this, isn't it? Because seven thousand minus this is how much? This is point one percent, and then you have to also calculate point zero seven percent. Also, you have to minus. But which is half of this, which is basically 28 and something more, so 30, 40 more less. So that means this definitely has to be this answer. So you don't have to do exact full this thing. Also, you looked at the options and you realized that okay, I don't need to do exact math, and you can get it. So basically, in this question, male employees to find average number of male employees in these three countries. The base is given, so we could have done 15 plus 10 plus 12, 37 by 3, which is 12.33 percent of 56,000. So you simply do that calculation, you get your answer. How you simplify 12.33? Like again, there could be multiple ways to go about it. Whether you want to do it like this, whether you want to go 12.33 like 10 plus 2 percent plus 0.33 percent, it is up to you. Whatever you can do faster. All right, let's move ahead. Next, he says, what is the average number of female employees in country four and country seven? 
and now female employees is asking just remember so you have to be careful in country 4 country 4 how will you calculate female employees so whatever female employees will be there in country 4 plus because average is asking whatever number of female employees in country 7 average would be this so can we not calculate female in country 4 female in country 4 would be very easy this would be 14% of 86,000 minus how much in country 4 18 percentage of 56,000 and you can get your answer right similarly female in country 7 would be how much female in country 7 would be again 7% 7 7% percent, 7 percent of 86,000 minus 9 percent of 56,000 now I'm writing this just to show you what are the steps involved but if I were you in the exam I would have left this question meaning is this question difficult absolutely no can I do it of course yes but this will take me more than a minute and why would I want to do all this calculation 14% of this minus 18% of this or 7% and then you can simplify this also this is almost double of this right if you take two common but I'm saying I don't want to do all of that calculation and that add so some questions are also worth leaving in the exam while this is the method how to go about this question you could have solved it but unless you have a smarter way some shortcut you are able to see if you're not able to see I would have left this question that means this question is not worth doing so in the aptitude exams this is also a skill the skill to make a decision and decide when to leave a particular question not just because you are not able to solve it but because you know it will take more time so probably I'll put a question mark on this right and if it's online system also I can mark it and then I'll go solve the other question then come back if I have time and I have no other question that I can do it faster all right let's move to the next question fifth by what percent is the total number of employees in country fifth six seventh more than total number of male employees in country two three four okay let's look at total number of employees in country fifth six seventh seventeen percent 16% 7% so don't get fooled by saying it will be so much time consuming that I have to calculate 17% of this number 16% 7% it is of the same base so 17 plus 16 is how much 33 plus 7 40 so this is nothing but your 40% of 86,000 right and the total number of male employees in country 234 is how much 234 10 12 18 same base this is again 10 plus 12 22 plus 18 again 40 percent of 56,000 so he's saying how much is this more than this so if somebody asks you how much is 10 more than let's say somebody asks you more than 8 so how will you say how much is this more than 2 in percentage terms this is 2 more than 8 correct 8 if this was 8 this is equal to more than so what percentage is 10 of 8 I would say 125 percent but how much more it is so 2 it is 2 extra on what base on 8 2 by 8 is 1 by 4 this is 25 percent more same logic we have to apply here so but the good thing is we don't have to calculate anything see because ultimately if it is in ratio if two numbers are in ratio so whether if I say how much is 10 more than 8 or if I say how much is 10 lakh more than 8 lakh it's in percentage terms it's the same thing so you know this can all get cut and you can simplify it this is 56,000 so these three zero these three zero that means all he's saying is how much is 86 more than 56 and I can make it even smaller for simplification what I will do this is 43 this is 43 and this is 28 so now I'm not able to find a number easily because 43 is a prime number so all I have to do is how much is this more than this so let's see how much is this extra so how much is this extra 28 so that means 13 plus 2 15 this is extra on what base on 28 base so that means this is what you have to calculate how much is 15 as a percentage of 28 correct that 15 is this extra number so now instead of doing this calculation also I would say be smart look at the options options are like this 
now can you not say what is 50 percent of 28 that means 50 percent of 28 is your 14 that means here is 15 that means 50 percent plus how much more one more now one is what percentage of 28 now one percent of this number would be 0.28 correct one percent would be 0.28 so this is one extra that means this into three three and a half times types so 50 plus 3 something so close to 53 so only option is this so this was again very very easy question okay so thanks for watching this video on pie charts but these five questions give us an understanding of one again like i said smart calculation we did we leveraged the options we did not solve something additional that was not required if we knew no other option would fit in we just marked the option secondly we also learned how to leave a particular question so there was a question where we were able to do it everything it was very simple but because it was time consuming we took a decision and said no i will not do this in first go so these were our learnings from this video so thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video